Good day, everybody. It is currently the 15th of September, 2014, making this update right around 7 a.m. Philippine Standard Time here on Tuesday. And what we are seeing is Typhoon Kalmiki now pulling away from the country. Good news, it has been moving fairly fast at about 19 to 20 kilometers per hour at forward motion. So what we are seeing is some rapidly improving conditions behind it. The storm system has resulted, unfortunately, in three deaths. Indirectly, actually, associated with the storm system, but it is being blamed on Luis or Kalmiki here. It was due to a ferry sinking down here towards the south, just off the coast of the island of Leyte. Uh, actually, there was over 120 people on board. Only three people uh, died, and I say that in a the most respectful way to the three people that did die. Very tragic situation, but quite often when we see ferry sinkings in the Philippines associated with storm systems, that death toll is often a lot higher. So good news, there was other vessels nearby my rescue efforts were fairly swift so from the reports I have been seeing out here. Three other people were also actually injured. Now what we are seeing, though, is so many people at evacuation centers off towards the north. Looks like people took this rather seriously. Uh, storm system still has a pressure about 975, wind 65, gusts up to 95 knots, according to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. We're still seeing these rain bands actually wrap around the southern periphery of the storm as well. And you can see this yellow line here. That's indicating those tropical storm strength winds. So they still extend well over towards the Philippines, even here on Tuesday morning, or excuse me, Monday morning. That is. But I would expect those conditions to really rapidly improve as we go through the afternoon hours here on Monday, uh, and then extending over towards Tuesday morning. But you can see here by Monday, right around 6, 7 p.m., most conditions really have cleared up across eastern Luzon. I know in Manila, all classes actually across the NCR have been canceled here on Monday. Um, pretty good news, and I think that's a smart move by the uh, governmental offices there in Manila just play it safe. You don't want students running around in these thunder showers you are seeing today. And localized flooding is still going to be a major threat for Manila, at least during your morning hours. Definitely a slow go out there. But uh, as we look ahead by Monday night into Tuesday, uh, conditions across the Philippines just uh, really rapidly, rapidly improved. And then we're looking at this storm system coming ashore uh, somewhere there uh, in southern Guangdong over towards northern Hainan. Uh, Hong Kong, you're really going to miss out on the worst of this. Hong Kong's built for typhoon. So I'm thinking tropical storm strength winds likely, uh, but as far as storms go, this isn't going to be anything too intense. Another run-of-the-mill type system. Really, the big problem here is if people aren't smart about it. Winds do start to pick up and you're outside wandering along coastal areas. Uh, you do leave yourself at threat for the potential of danger. It's something that you really take yourself and put it out there. So uh, you just want to keep an eye on the storm system. But Hong Kong, I wouldn't expect any significant damage. Really, the worst of this is going to be back towards the west. And I think in the end... The major threat out of this storm would be farther towards the west into uh, northern Vietnam and southern China. Actually, uh, these same areas back here are the same locations where we saw over 30 to 40 deaths associated with Ramasun. Um, so I think these areas are very, very vulnerable to flooding and uh, that threat is going to be there, even the threat of landslides. So uh, as we go ahead through the next 72 to the 96 hours, that's where I think the biggest impact from Kalmiki is going to be as we look ahead. For now, though, improving conditions for those of you in the Philippines, there's been a lot of talk of another storm system possibly developing. Uh, right now, it actually doesn't look like that's going to be happening. We do have a weak wave out there. I'm not going to lie to you and say there's nothing. Uh, but right now, it looks like it should hook off towards the north and kind of get the star disrupted here and pull away from the Philippines. Could enhance the monsoon as we look ahead well into next weekend. So still a lot of time to watch this. But uh, for now, though, we are continuing to keep an eye on another tropical wave now located uh, right out there towards Guam. It is not a major threat, at least at this time. All right, guys, stay safe out there. Thanks again for watching here at westernpacificweather.com. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can always post them down there in the comment box below. And, yeah, thanks.